babe, do you remember the um, little toys that we used to get in, uh, you know, the uh, meals that we used to get from fast food restaurants? So uh, not only did we have like, you know, something to, uh, you know, uh, keep us entertained for like 10 minutes, but uh, while we, uh, you know, uh, made ourselves even more unhealthy than we are now. You know, like, yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember the days in which, like, um, they used to have characters based off of McDonald's and Burger King. Um, if you weren't um, part of Ronald McDonald's group, then you were part of, um, you know, the Burger King Kids Club. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It's funny, like, uh, we were actually having conversations about what, which, uh, which toy range was actually better back in the nineties. Was it McDonald's Happy Meals or actually the Burger King Kids Club? But then we came to the the conclusion that uh, both were kind of evenly matched when you think about it, because they both had rights to like different properties, and uh, there wasn't really like uh, you know any exclusivity to any particular thing. Like uh, you know, uh, Burger King obviously had like uh, you know uh, had equal rights to like the Nintendo and the Sega toys, and uh, obviously when all the big movies came out they also yeah uh, you know, can i shared around like uh, what they were and uh, you know but both mcdonald's and burger king also had disney properties too so like yeah uh, exactly yeah. and also another thing that uh, i completely forgot about but i don't know if you ever had um toys from this fast food chain but pizza hut um you know what i don't think uh, if we did i can't remember them i remember uh, what's his face uh, the uh, the dog mascot that they had and uh, where he like he would cut like the hat out of like the pizza box and like he changed into like this cool dude or something like that and yeah. I, remember, I remember, like, all well, I remember the Premier League getting behind it at one point. But uh, you know, besides that, like, uh, I don't remember, you know, toys at uh, Beer Pizza at all. Like, uh, mm. you know, it was, uh, it was almost like uh, I constantly had to keep you reminded me that uh, you know, at one point, Subway did uh, kids' toys. You know, oh like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So like, so you know, McDonald's and Burger King have always been kind of like the big, the big deals. I think in, in, mm -hmm. you know, it was the Burger Wars, of course, you know, yeah, that was going to be a big thing. But uh, the reason why we're talking about that is because uh, this kind of features around uh, the uh, these uh, fast food toys. Uh, so in this one called Small Fry, which is one of the Toy Story tunes, uh, Buzz Lightyear is uh, replaced with uh, a tiny um, Buzz Lightyear from, uh, the, uh, from, from the value meals, if you will. And uh, then uh, he tries to uh, basically uh, superimpose himself into uh, Bonnie's room and everyone realizes right off the bat that... Uh, He's not Buzz Lightyear, and uh, that uh, he's actually not their Buzz. And so uh, he, uh, so Buzz Lightyear himself actually gets trapped in the fast food restaurant, and uh, he ends up um, you know, being in a uh, kind of like a, an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, pretty much of like uh, toys all kind of like having to. Uh, you know, uh, except that they've basically been rejected by their owners. Well, uh, at one point, or maybe not have owners at all, basically. So uh, we get all these knickknacks of like you know all these different. Uh, you know, uh, um, you know, throwaway toys, if you will, that uh, we would have uh, seen in uh, in uh, kids' meals, and uh, yeah, it's just it's uh, quite a hilarious thing of like you know people just trying to accept uh, you know rejection, and uh, then obviously the uh, uh, the grappling toy when uh, you know Buzz Lightyear uses to escape, obviously you know <laughs> he gets it the worst pretty much because uh, he doesn't end up coming back. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, but, so, you know, like, uh, for, you know, being reminded about, uh, you know, those types of toys back in the day, and, uh, I don't know, like, was it actually, like, supposed to be kind of, like, you know, aimed at, like, you know, the, the 90s, you know, like, was it so kind of, like, yeah, obviously, I know, like, you know, Andy's obviously grown up at this point, but, uh, I don't know, it kind of feels like, uh, you know, this would have been something, I don't know what, uh, you know, um, fast food restaurants are like now today, like, in regards to, like, you know, giving kid toys out and things like that. I mean, it's, uh, but... Uh, Same thing, uh, babe, except that the difference is, is that the the meals are way healthier than when we were kids. No, like, that's and I know true. In McDon and McDonald's, I do know that they have apple slices and they do have milk. And, you know, they do have a smaller burger with smaller fries as opposed to, you know, when we had it, it's like, oh, you know, it's like you had like a regular cheeseburger, maybe a small amount of fries, a drink, and then you got the Happy Meal alongside with it. So, yeah, I, I mean, I do know that they still do the toys and so does Burger King, but um, the meals are way different than about 30 years ago. Yeah, that's, that's true. So, uh, but, you know, in regards to this short, you know, it was a funny short and uh, it is kind of hilarious seeing like a miniature Buzz Lightyear. So like uh, yeah, and it's also interesting about this short. So I, I know there's going to be people in the comments saying, "I've never heard of this short. Uh, where did it come from?" Well, this short, believe it or not, was actually paired up with the 2011 The Muppets movie. Mm -hmm. It wasn't paired up with a Pixar movie. Yeah, so, uh, well, keep in mind, like, you know, Pixar was a Disney property at this point, so, and uh, so was the Muppets, so, like, uh, they could they, they could pretty much make some match at this point, and uh, keep in mind, you know, if you remember, like, in the, uh, also in the Muppet movie as well, uh, you know, s sadly, Cars 2 gets uh, gets a reference of the, in the final scene, <laughs> pretty much, if you, if you remember that. 
I remember. And yeah. then I think in like um they were like mentioning about like uh you know Tom Hanks is gonna be in Toy Story Four or something, and then well, about like seven or eight years later we get Toy Story Four. Mm -hmm. And it's actually interesting about looking into this short also is that when you see like all the um, the, the the toys that are having like the intervention and the Alcoholics Anonymous esque uh, gathering. Um, one of the toys is Condor Man, and that is a very obscure Disney reference. He is a superhero uh, property that was based off of a movie in the 1980s. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of weird seeing like yeah, they just kind of put these things in there, and uh, I'm pretty sure like also some of the other toys like references to other things as well. Like uh, you know, it's uh, one thing I will say about this though is that I do struggle to kind of remember them all. Like uh, the only one I can really remember is like the you know the mini Buzz Lightyear and uh, you know the the mermaid who kind of like leads the uh, leads the meeting really, and uh, but. Uh, the other ones kind of like, they flash quite past you so quickly, like you kind of like, uh, don't get a chance to kind of like, you know, admire how hilarious they are really. So I think that's the one negative I can think I say about this short. Yeah, like there's like there's so many of them. They're like really one quick gags. I mean, other than the little mini Buzz Lightyear, the mini Zerg, and like uh, part of Buzz Lightyear's belt where it just beeps and boops. You have the mermaid, you have like the grappling hook toy, um, and then you have like just a whole bunch of them. Uh, I think one of them was recalled because of um, uh, a disfigurement that happened with um, that their mechanism wasn't working or that it worked too well that to the point in which it was too dangerous for kids, which um, I, I don't know. It's like some parts of it kind of feel like um, it would be like, you know, uh, would be featured a little bit in Toy Story 4 later on about like, the, you know, all the toys that... Um, the owners lost and then they would just be gathered around and, uh, and, and you know, the difference here is that at least with um, Bo Peep and her companions, they would go into a playground and then they would be around for the kids who are playing in the playground and then they would just go on to the next place. Well, here they're just in the poultry palace and they're having these meetings saying, oh, don't worry. I mean, I'm sure that, um, you know, your glory days uh, were great and you feel abandonment, but at least we're here for you. Mm -hmm. It kind of makes me wonder about, like, if Toy Story 4 took place around that time, maybe they would have been a member of the Lost Toys. Yeah, it kind of makes me wonder, like, uh, wasn't there a point where, you know, these, like, little toys started becoming, like, collector's items at one point? Yeah, like exactly. There you go. It's like, um, it could have been akin to something that we would have seen in Toy Story 2, in which, like, you know, maybe um, somebody, like, a, an adult who's, like, far too old to be getting a Happy Meal would, like, get all these toys and maybe, like, have to pay a certain amount of money in exchange for like collecting them for collector's items it's like i guess maybe they didn't want to dip the same way kind of like how al did in toy story 2 in which he's like gathering all the stuff for woody's roundup but i mean that just stuff is real i mean go watch some youtube videos and go look up some stuff on ebay for how much this stuff really does go online it's it's surprising actually mm -hmm. so um yeah i mean we had a lot to talk about by the shot really so um yeah but uh, you know we'll come up uh, next and uh, we'll talk about the next one Yes, uh, I'm dreading it, by the way, because we have to talk about another Cars ser uh, tune. Well, baby, let's hold hands and, uh, you know, pray that uh, it's not as bad as the last one. So. Yeah. <laughs> 